and cut. Okay, boys, take five and get ready for the next big special effects sequence. Oh, hello. I'm the producer of the film you're about to see. I think this is going to be even more spectacular than our last picture, Carnival of Maniacs, or my personal favorite, The Big Jip. But we thought you deserved a little word of warning. You see, this motion picture is shot on a process so astounding, it will literally make your end stand on hair. You've seen modern movie miracles like 3D, Cinerama, Panavision, Synchronized Sound. Those movie miracles pale in comparison to the process we call Monsterama. Monsterama is a process so incredible, mere words can't explain it. But you'll imagine you're watching a real motion picture. I know that sounds incredible, but I'm a producer. Why would I lie? Certain seats in each theater will be adapted by trained technicians to the Monsterama process. This footage, shot with special infrared film, shows a typical movie audience watching a movie in Monsterama. At a special cue, the Monsterama process goes into effect. The process is totally safe, totally harmless, and totally overwhelming. Every patron who sees this film in a theater equipped with Monsterama will be insured by Floyds of London for $10 million against death by fright from this extraordinary process. Of course, if you're not watching this film in a theater especially equipped with Monsterama, you won't feel the full effects of this extraordinary process, but you will see exciting entertainment. Remember, it's in full color and it's full length. But that's not all. For this special edition, we've transferred the original film on the highest quality digital equipment. When you see it, you'll agree. Sure, it took us 12 years and $375 million, but on screen, it looks like a million bucks. I believe this picture will thrill you. It may shock you. It might even horrify you. And if it doesn't, we've already got your money, so what are you gonna do? Enjoy the show. Beginning in 1951, the major cities of the world were beset by monsters of every conceivable size, shape, and religious background. Beasts. Behemoths. Blobs. Brains. Creeping unknowns. Crawling eyes. Crab creatures, Morlocks, Mysterians, Magnetic Metal Monoliths, Metal Luna Mutants, 50-foot Women, Colossal Men, Saucer Men, Alligator People, Puppet People, Pod People, Gigantic Ants, Bees, Moths, Wasps, Locusts, Serpents, Spiders, Gorillas, Robots, Brontosaurs, Tyrannosaurs, Pteranodons, Dimetrodons, Mastodons, Deguanodons, Vampires, Werewolves, Theomers, Emirs, and Zontai, the thing from Venus. <laughs> to battle these menaces, a new breed of scientific warrior emerged. Men like Professor Cleet Ferguson. <laughs> General Alexander Mann. Gun, tanks, bombs, they're like toys against them. Dr. Arthur Carrington. Gentlemen, do you realize what we've found? A being from another world as different from us as one pole from the other. If we can only communicate with it. But first among equals was Lieutenant Colonel Patrick Hendry, a stalwart war hero who devoted his life to battling the enemies of civilization, the thing from another world. Come here, get in the corner. Now hold this in front of you. Stay by the light switch. 1.9. Needles hit the top. The beast from 20,000 fathoms. Another one, Colonel? No. The octopus that ate San Francisco. We're in too close for my taste, but it can't be helped. By 1972, the last of these threats to humanity were eliminated. 
Since then, it's been quiet. Too quiet. Titanic tremor shook the planet like a bowl full of grape jello. In the frozen Arctic, tons and tons of snow and ice crashed down. Gigantic mountains of glacial debris splashed into the sea, uncovering something. But then, as suddenly as it all began, it ceased. out here long? Since dawn, I like to start early. Did you see anything wash up on the beach? Anything strange? No. Why? Just a hunch. And a weird feeling.
Gewalt. Carlton, any luck job hunting? Negligible. I'm young, intelligent, and I've got the only combination oceanography and paleontology degree in the country. And? I will not work for 38 cents on the dollar. I refuse to take a subordinate position to patriarchal overseers. Yeah! And I refuse to do menial tasks that reinforce the stereotype of women. Yeah! Want a cup of coffee? Yeah! Lance is in his office. Oh, fine. Guess who? Tom Selleck. Nope. Just me. Hope I didn't disappoint you. I'm used to it. How's the world's most beautiful ichthyopaleontologist? Depressed at the status of women in the world. You? Mm, the usual. Old Mr. Lipschitz wandered off. We'll probably find the old pervert out by the nude beach again. I don't think so. Hi there. Can I get you something? Just coffee. I never flirt with second leads. They get killed off in the fourth reel. Why? I'm sure Boiler. Just what is it you're looking for? Just a little information. A little. So why don't you tell me just who you are and why you're armed for trouble? My middle name is Trouble. See? Jeff T. Stewart. 
Ozzy. Ozzy. Office of Scientific Investigation. So what's a top secret government agent want with a missing old man? I think I found your Mr. Lipschitz. My God! Someone stab him in the spleen? This was used as a toothpick. Hey, this is sticky. I'd recognize that taste anywhere. That's iguana saliva. I like your style. Well, I don't like yours. It's hot. Obviously. Here, hang on to this for me, will you? Attention all units. Punk and stolen car spotted on Hollow Mountain Road. That is all. Well, I've got work to do. If you don't mind, I think I'll go along. Why? Just a hunch. Okay, G-Man. Move out. But what about your coffee and your... meat? Keep them warm for me. My pleasure. All right, Stuart, I want to know what your game is. Just what is it you're looking for? I'm not sure. It's like art. I'll know it when I see it. Well, this could get dangerous. I don't like bringing Nikki along. We may have need of her special talents. Ten four. You got Sheriff Burrow here. I'm in hot pursuit. Don't worry, we'll get him. It's the last car this punk will ever steal. brightest man in the world, but they both knew they had a big job to do, and it was a man's job. And not just any man. In all the world, there was only one individual whose unique background and specialized military training qualified him for this awesome task. That man was Colonel Patrick Henry, currently a resident of the Veterans Hospital Psychiatric Clinic. But they knew he would jump at the chance to fight one last monster. This boy's got to be kidding. The North Pole, 1951. Unbelievable. Manhattan, 1954. Fantastic. San Francisco, 1955. Very exciting. Oh, come on, man. I'm out of shape. The last big battle I had was Billy Jack in 71. I'm retired. Colonel, I saw a 75-foot monster out there. Shh. Don't talk like that way around here. Why? I saw it. Look, Sheriff, I'm not in here voluntarily. All those things I did during the 50s, the invasion of the Martian carrot men, giant octopus, the thing from beneath the sea, the vampire, that's still classified information. Goddamn government. I don't get it. You try telling some Harvard psychiatrist who used to fight monsters. 
I've looked at too many ink blots, my eyes crossed. They've had me doing the Thorazine Shuffle for the last three years. I've arranged for your release, Colonel. The federal government has proclaimed you perfectly sane. Uh, for the duration of this emergency. What the hell is this? Besides, Colonel, without your help, thousands of people who have never died will be killed. You'll be returned to active duty. Full rank. 17 years back pay. 17 years back? No. And we brought something for you, Colonel. My God. My old monster fighting suit. Come on, buddy. Time for our lithium. Your lithium. I'm going to work. You're coming with me. He's coming with us. Oh, I like his style. Everybody seems to. Meanwhile. Dr. Dobson, thank you for seeing me. This is. Hey, a fossil of the Gill Man. A little souvenir from the Upper Amazon. Devonian age, wasn't it? You know your lizards. I have a BA from SDSU, an MA from UCSD. I've been published in 23 different periodicals, and I'm a personal friend of Joe Bob Griggs. Impressive. But I can't identify the beast we saw. Hmm. It was an erect bipedal hybrid, triacular, tridactyl, possibly from the latter Jurassic era, but somehow different. Rhetosaurus. Extinct for 100 million years. Fossils found in the Hudson River submarine canyons. Paleosaurus. Extinct for 50 million years. Remains found in the Thames River Basin. Gorgosaurus. Extinct for 10 million years. Remains found on Nara Island off the Irish coast. This one's interesting. You like that? My little niece did that the other day. She shows a lot of artistic promise. Oh, I don't think so. She's 28. Well, wait. That's it. I'd recognize that face anywhere. The Monstasaurus. Erectus. Erectus? He nearly killed us. Exactly. Missing link between man and dinosaur. But no. No, that can't be. That species has been extinct for over 45 years. In 1955, after my work with the Gill Man, OSI assigned me to a secret project in the South Pacific. They had a terrific bartender named Maury. You haven't lived until you've had one of the zombies of Maury Tao. Army liaison was a fellow named Patrick Henry. He preferred beer. We were told to explore the island of Kaijuega as a possible site for an atomic bomb testing. The island was uninhabited by human beings, but was alive with the biggest critters I'd ever seen. It was a sort of lost world. A land that time forgot. Land unknown. An unknown island. Okay, I get it. Biggest, meanest, and dumbest of them all was a relic from an age long forgotten. A Monstrosaurus erectus. Pat Hendry and me and the rest evacuated the island. The test was successful, and the island of Kaijuega was vaporized. But Henry believed that at least one of those monsters escaped. I want to make sure that it's not happening again. 
He spent the rest of his career trying to warn the world about monsters and aliens. So they locked him in a rubber room. The moral is, it pays to keep your mouth shut. This Colonel Hendry sounds like the man for the job. Well, remember to be very careful. This is an ancient creature with a nasty disposition, thrown into a world he doesn't understand. He'll roar, he'll bite people's heads off. He may even void himself in public. The monster. Him too. Under Hendry's expert supervision, the team snapped to life, setting up a command post in the sheriff's office through which all information was filtered. A top secret nationwide task force was organized to stop the incredible menace from the ocean depths. Hendry was back in action again. By train, by plane, by truck, and by lucky guesswork, a division of hardy volunteers was deployed in the path of the beast, the beast from another time zone. We have a biological profile on the monster, paleolithic, amphibian. Intelligent, sexy. Ravenous, curious. What are you doing after the disaster? I know a nice little sushi bar. Knock that stuff off. It's moving along the coast, stay near the ocean. Our first line of defense, the 75th Stock Footage Brigade. Of course, Colonel, you'll want to lead the men personally to combat. No, 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 no. It's okay, you go ahead. Yes, sir. Sharp, I, I really wish I could go with you, but I think I'd better stay here. Be careful. Don't worry. I'm used to handling myself. Out of curiosity, have you seen where Nikki went? No. I don't know where she is. What's the matter with you, Stuart? You got an itch or something? I was just looking for my car keys. No. They're not there. Well, Sheriff, you better take my keys. Oh. Uh. Four, you got Sheriff Boyle here. Tell Colonel Hendry, I'll have his car back in no time and in good shape. I'm with the uh, Cody Commandos. We're going to move in and take this thing. It's going to be a piece of cake. Ten four. Let's show that monster we're a law and order town. Come on. All right, men. Let's get him. You first. I'll check over here. Uh, what's this thing supposed to look like, anyway? Hunter, ask the sheriff. Where, uh, where is he, anyway? I don't know. He must be off by himself. See anything over there? A bush, Sarge. We'll check underneath it. All right, where's this monster supposed to be, anyway? Uh, yeah, lizard, lizard, lizard. and eating them like bunches of grapes. It's very bad for morale, sir. I'll bet. Nivey, why don't you take charge? Yes, sir. I'll be back later. Retreat! Every man for himself! Well, at least Colonel Hendry's car is okay. Ah! 
Lieutenant Nivey at the front. We've got everything under control. If... Wait a second. It's coming this way. It's getting closer. It's raising his foot. It's got a pot belly. But the most astonishing thing is... Ah! There's something wrong with the radio. You're right on top of things, aren't you? We're decimated, sir. Good. Define decimated. To destroy or kill a great but indefinite number. Webster's on a bridge, page 409. Oh. Wait a minute. There's one thing we haven't thought of. Aeroplanes. <laughs> So much for airplanes. Wait, what about jet airplanes? That's a good idea. Connie, get me sat on the phone. Delta 3 to Colonel Hendry at Sheriff's Station. Come in. Go ahead. I'm going in. All right, if you want to be brave. Yeah, this is Major Trauma at the testing center. Any report yet, Major? I've sighted the monster Saurus. What's the situation, Major? You know, the, the, the monster looks lost, like he's looking for something. Get to him. Close to him. Find out what's happening. If it concerns us, we want to hear about it. Close? You mean, like, really close, Colonel? What do you mean, really? Do you think I'm going to call up on the radio and jack around? Over? Really close. Yeah, okay. Over. Got me by the wings. Get out of here, baby. Get out now. Getting out. Oh my God! It's 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 horrible. There's fire everywhere. Smoke. Destruction. Oh, the humanity. It couldn't get any worse. Wait. It's got Smitty. It's eating him. Everything. Attention all units. Unidentified monster loitering near refinery. That is all. Refinery, that would be Winterton Flats. Yeah, just outside of Santa Mira. Sheriff, I think you'd better get down there. You better give him a hand.
Meanwhile. T-Bird to Sheriff Station. Come in. The Sheriff Station, over. I'm headed up to Bronson Canyon. What are you doing here on duty? Over. Three construction workers were fired this morning for being drunk on duty. The last report we had, the monster was headed north. I suspect a causal relationship. What's that supposed to mean? It's the principle that nothing can happen or exist without a cause. Well, I ain't talking philosophies. I think the monster may be up here. Why? The workers reported they saw a lizard. The biggest lizard they'd ever seen by a dam site. I'm Dr. Carlton. You're the foreman, Mr. Gorman? And call me Norman. <laughs> I don't get it. I got a good crew. They was performing. What about the three you fired? Jack, Doc, and Reggie. Jack worked on the docks. Doc was our medic, a former Army medical corpsman. And Reggie, he was a member of the Church of Latter-day Saints. Three real straight arrows. So you had a corpsman, a Mormon, and a longshoreman, right, Mr. Gorman? Call me Norman. Well, they must have been drunk or something. That's the only way I can figure it. They said they saw some damn big lizard up on the mountain. It's a butte. Nah, it's a mountain. Dr. Carlton to Area Command. Send an armored battalion to the Bronson Canyon Dam at once. Look at that! What the hell is Whoa! Was it storming? Just a sprinkle, but it's warming. Call me Norman. Look! Big iron trucks with cannons on them! Tanks. You're welcome. Roger. Fire! Fire! This is going to be kind of tough to keep quiet. 20 bucks. Keep it under your hat. Meanwhile, back at Monster Central. It's almost in the suburbs. It's headed for the city. Nothing can stop it now. Carney, where there's a will, there's a way. There's a will. Now, you boys, find out everything you can about this creature. It's Achilles' heel. And hurry. Come on, get going. this information, the creature is a radioactive, prehistoric, extraterrestrial. From another dimension. Anything else? Yes. It's hungry. Meanwhile... Professor Bradshaw, bullets don't harm it. Naturally. Throughout the eons, billions and billions of tons of pressure have compacted the individual atoms, making the creature's molecular structure very dense. Uh, Professor, what does that mean in plain English? 
bullets won't harm it. Okay. Admiral Burns, please. Get word to the main base. We want a plane right away. This has top priority. Over and out. I don't like it. I've never seen the ocean look so strange. Oh, yeah, that's better. Aerial recon reports yeah. a disturbance 10 points off starboard, sir. I forget now. Starboard is, is left? Right, sir. Ah, OK, right, right. Helmsman, 10 degrees, right runner. That was very good, sir. But remember, when you steer right rudder, you go left. Uh -huh. Left rudder takes you right. Did he move? That crafty devil fish. Uh, no, sir. Uh, I'm just explaining. You see, your left rudder takes you starboard, which is right. To go to port, you need your right rudder, which is left. You're new at this, aren't you, sailor? Uh, no, sir. It's fine. It all worked out fine. You only had two choices, port or starboard, and you chose one. Which was left? Right. Left full rudder. <laughs> Is this Admiral Burns? Is he a friend of yours? That isn't how I put it. Well, he's steering the battleship in circles. You only had two choices, port or starboard, and you yeah. chose one. So the other one's left. Exactly. Well, which was left? Right. Left full rudder. Wait. I see something. Recon to Admiral Burns. Monster sighted off your starboard bow. Sir, he's been sighted off over there. Starboard? Correct. About time. Launch depth charges. No sign of the monster. Aerial recon to Admiral Burns. You got him. Oh, we got him, sir. What should I tell Colonel Henry? Henry. <laughs> Send him a message. Sighted monster, sank same. Yeah, send that off immediately. Yeah. And, oh, no, 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 no. How about nuts? No, no, too terse. I'll just look him in the eye and say, <laughs> Back at Monster Central. Give a ride in a helicopter. Monster Central, Colonel Line 3. Right. Excuse me. Yes, Colonel Henry here. Henry. General Man here. I know how to stop your monster. Poke sticks at it. Excuse me, General Henry. But... I know what I'm talking about, damn it. It worked with the slime people in 62. Now find yourself two volunteers with sharp sticks. OK, General, thank you. The General says to get two volunteers with sharp sticks. You hoo Mail's in. Oh, boys. for stick broken. We found out what the monster is. What is it? Where does it come from? It doesn't matter. How do we stop it? Beats me. This is the emergency 
broadcast system. We interrupt regular programming to bring you this urgent bulletin. Sheriff Lance Boiler. As you may know, a giant monster is lumbering toward our city even now as we speak. If you have any ideas how to stop this monster, any suggestions, it is your civic duty to call a toll-free 800-666-7838. 3 That's 800-MONSTER. Monster Central, may I help you? Could you hold, please? Monster Hotline, hello. Napalm. It worked on a tarantula in 1955. Monster Central. Well, why don't you put everybody to sleep? Then when they wake up, they can say they had a bad dream. Monster Central. Maybe if you pour salt water on it, it'll just go away. Look, buddy, we're desperate. We're not stupid. Monster Hotline? No, we don't take outgoing orders. Monster Central, give it to me. Yes, I'll tell you what. Just have the British Army shoot it, okay? Uh, no go. We already did that. Didn't work. Oh. Well, uh, why not trap it on top of a giant gas storage tank? That ought to do it. Now, uh, that's a negatory. It's trash the refinery. Oh, I see. Well, I'll tell you what. Just stuff it on a jet and send it beyond the time barrier, okay? <laughs> I tell you what, we got your name and number, we'll call you. Monster Central, speak to me. Well, how about this? You find a one-handed scientist, see, and he creates a robot duplicate of the monster, and then... And she does an, an erotic dance. Monster Central. I've got it. Stick him in the eye with a spear. Well, actually, it has three eyes. You have three spears. All right. Monster Central, a Dr. Yashiwara from Tokyo for you. I don't speak Japanese. It's okay. He's dubbed in English. Oh. Uh, Colonel Henry here. Hello, uh, Colonel Henry. We hear you have a monster problem. That's right. Why don't you do what we always do? What's that? Get Godzilla to beat him up. <laughs> Godzilla. I lost the war. Monster Central. Monster Central. Well, anyway, my idea is to see the robot duplicate monster. Doesn't it not dance? And it, and it incites the workers to riot, see? And in the meantime, you, you trap the real monster in the storm drain and they open the floodgates and... Uh, oh, excuse me, I'm so excited. Hello? Hello? Uh, that, hello? Like an old racehorse, we can't run anymore. Monster Central? Well, still love it, so the track. Collect from the North Pole? No collect calls. The government's paying for this with tax dollars. Wait a Accept those charges. Dr. Carrington, is that you? Well, Henry, it's always good to hear that you're in trouble. Have you tried using thermite? I hear it works wonders. Doctor, we don't have time for clever banner right now. Colonel, we must capture this creature. We must capture it and communicate with it. We can't stop it, so how the hell are we going to talk to it? Now listen to me. That creature is older and wiser than anything on Earth. I want to be its friend. I want to take it out to brunch, to have coffee and croissant, to discuss Nietzsche and Schopenhauer and the unified field theory. Dr. Carrington, this thing eats people and spits out their heads, and it's going to smash a whole city. Now, do you have any helpful advice? You're such a spoiled sport. Very well. I'll give you a hint. 375 degrees, 20 minutes per pound. Serves at least 10.
All right, gentlemen, it's up to us now. I need your full cooperation. I want thousands of bullets, thousands of them. In a last-ditch attempt to avert citywide disaster, every volt of electricity was rerouted through a single set of high-tension wires. High-voltage wires. He's got to touch them. I'm sorry we should have saved part of the study. Well, it could have been a good idea. Wait. Holy smoke. Pat, you got him. It's dead. I want to take a little credit for that. It never fails. Well? Well, either this monster is dead, or my watch has stopped. Excellent. Dr. Carlton? Yes? What time do you have? Nine o'clock. Oh. Good morning, Dr. Howard, Dr. Fine, Dr. Howard. Morning. So, who made this stuff? Uh, the new secretary. Have her fired. What's the preliminary data? There's been a mutation at the basic molecular level. Fascinating. I must get a tissue sample. <sighs> Thanks, the smog, you know. <laughs> Is it safe? Completely harmless. Now we have a chance to study it, analyze it, dissect it. Maybe even mosey around inside it. Best get her out of the sun, though. Then it stinks something fierce. Excellent observation. But first, we'll do the CAT scan. Have you noticed the strange shimmering aura it seems to give off? Yeah, it's called a mat line. It indicates the presence of radioactivity. Radioactivity? Isn't that dangerous? No, it just washes right off. Gentlemen, where are you going? Going to take his temperature. Not in the mouth, gentlemen. Are we sure that it's absolutely dead? Of course it's dead. Do you think it stinks so bad if it were alive? Wait! It is alive! Oh, it's merely post-mortem gas being expelled. It's quite natural. Get them some new overalls. Hello, Lance. This is Nikki. Is Jeff with you? Ken, Roger. Listen, guys, the chromosome count is very peculiar, and the tissue's not deteriorating like I expected. Retrace the monster's steps. This entire area was a swamp in ancient times, a breeding ground for prehistoric bees. Let me know if you find out anything. Over and out. Pull into Bronson Canyon. I've got a hunch. Uh, yeah, sure, another hunch. You know, I haven't seen any money for gas on this deal. How can you think of gas at a time like this? You can fill out for a governmental voucher. I've got one here in my wallet. Oh, yeah, sure. All right, G-Man, the hell you looking? 
I'm getting a reading on my Geiger counter. 9.5? It's going to the top. It's hitting the top of the scale. My God, what, what do you think it is? I don't have the slightest idea. But I know someone who might. Gentlemen, this would appear to be an oversized ovum of a mammaloid amphibian. What's he mean? Well, if you know. If I knew, I wouldn't ask. I think I know. I'll ask. An egg. Dr. Ferguson, you mean? Yes. Your monster is a mother. A big, mean, ugly mother. Meanwhile... What did you think of that slide? We were safe a third, but it was very close. Precisely. That would mean the monster is... Alive and very pregnant. Dr. Fine, the calculations. The electricity caused a biochemical change. The reproductive system has been accelerated or speeded up. This creature can lay eggs by the thousands, creating a race of juggernauts that can crush whole cities and devour mankind like so many fried shrimp. Imagine the neat, uncomplicated reproductive technique of hermaphroditic sexuality. No pleasure or pain as we know it. No emotion, no heart. No muss, no fuss. Knowledge is more important than life. It doesn't matter what happens to us. We owe it to the brain of our species to stand here and die rather than destroy a source of wisdom. What are you, nuts? We gotta kill the son of a bitch before it wakes up. Get me Colonel Patrick Hendry at Monster Central right away. Yeah, it's Colonel Hendry here. Pat, it's Nikki. Remember I told you that the monster was dead? Right. Well, she's not so much dead dead as in a real deep coma. You what? It's not as bad as you think. You know, yeah, a lot of times I actually enjoy your making things harder for me. We'll be okay. It'd take an act of God to wake her up. Pat. Find out what she's up to. Well, it's not around here. I know this area like the back of my hand. I'll check the other lookouts. I'm keeping my mouth shut, and I'm advising you to do the same. Dr. Carlton at position X112. Get me mobile station 15. Hello, mobile station. Hi there, have you seen any giant monsters lately? Lady, I haven't seen a thing. Where is it then? Pat, it's still hiding somewhere. There's a possibility the animal might have headed for the river. We'll have all shore batteries alerted and naval patrol vessels. Uh-huh, yeah, got it. Relay this message to the 12th Naval District. This has top priority. The sooner they get here, the better. Yeah, uh-huh. Tell them to bring hand grenades, mortars, flamethrowers, anything they can pick up. You got that? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, alert the monster, relay every 12th naval, possibly charge the batteries, head for a priory sooner or later, mortar and pestle, and anything we can think of. Boy. Let's go. You are ordered to evacuate the city at once. Giant monster headed this way.
Hi there. We're evacuating the city, and we thought you should know your house is directly in the path of a gigantic... Never mind. Have a nice day. One hundred seventy-eight, one hundred seventy-nine, one hundred eighty, one hundred eighty-one, one hundred eighty-two, one hundred eighty-three, one hundred eighty-five, one, two, three, four, 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 one
Attention all units. Monster spot near observatory on a school night. That is all. My friends, they're on that bus. Put the bus down. Down. Put the bus down. See, it understood. Why are you doing this? Please, everybody, keep moving. Scientology! Scientology! Get your free personality test! Whoa! Keep moving, everybody. All right, boys. Aim those searchlights up there. Higher! Higher! Listen up, everybody. There's a big, wild, and domesticated animal bed this way. Higher! Deep basin, public property. Back up, get out of town. Right now. The creature's moving into the city. Nobody's the fire unless specifically ordered. Lance, the army's moving in. They'll drive the creature into a frenzy. Warn the commanding officer not to shoot. 10-4, baby. Pat, I told Lance to handle it. What do you think? I think he's gonna get his ass kicked. Well, so do I, but he builds character. I'm in charge here. Who's got the gun? Uh, I do. Who's got the bullets? I do. All right, you guys are a team. Hey, where's the penny off? Don't do that. No, you're just gonna make him angry. Don't you understand? Don't you understand? You're just gonna make that thing angry. Bullets don't do anything to it. Take her in here. Go ahead. Pat, electricity might have been the right idea. Remember the refinery? Heat, we might be able to drive it off. Contact the Army for flamethrowers. Try to get in close enough for a clear shot. You want me to handle it myself? You can do it, lover. Gee, thanks. Maybe we'll get lucky tonight. I hope so. We'll start with torches. Hot sticks, hot sticks, get your hot sticks here. Bonds, good torches, hot sticks. Can't turn a monster without a hot stick. There you are, sir. Thank you very much. That's the fifth row. Look out. That's just kidding, hey. Hey, Bonds, good torches. Here you go. Get them on a hot stick. A one and all and sing a song. Arola, Arola. Death is long, parola, paroli. or the Bronx. Don't worry. We'll make it through as long as we have each other. Oh, I'm so frightened. Don't talk. 
just hold me. But through the carnage, the brave team at Monster Central doggedly vowed to continue their struggle against impossible odds. Well, it's quitting time. I'm heading home. Sounds good to me. You gutless wonders. You can't quit now, just when everything looks black. Why not? Well... Hey, we gave it our best shot. It's over. Look, son. I've been fighting monsters since before you were born. It's never over until the final fade out. Face it, Colonel Henry. We need a miracle to stop that thing. I've got it. The A-bomb will nuke her. Just the way we did with the Martians in 53. Uh, but General, did it work on the Martians? Well, no. But, but they had an electrical force field, a, a kind of uh, protective blister around them. Does your monster have one of those? He wants to know if the monster has a blister. I don't think so. Well, he sure has a wood on his face. Atomic bomb, huh? Nuke him. General, this may be the miracle we're looking for. Thank you. You can't use a nuclear device in the city. Millions would die. Uh-oh, that's right. That's right. Shoot. If only he were out in the desert. So what we need is another miracle. Yeah, Henry here. Hi there, this is Connie. Uh, listen, I'm on my way out of town, and I thought I'd let you know the monster's headed for the desert. Thank you, Connie. Thank you. You gentlemen, moment your Geiger counters indicate heavy radiation. You can turn back. Watch it. Tell us any change. Say to be to be in certain fear. He's coming around the mountain. Here he comes, here he comes. What's he doing? All right, you fellas, both of you back here. Come around. Okay. Not going! It is not going! Put it in gear.
What happened? Jeff. What the hell? I don't know. Oh. Make the announcement? Actually, Jeff, no. Well, <laughs> looks like the best man won after all. Actually, Lance, yes. Ooh, this feels like real leather. It is real leather. You gotta be kidding. Do you know how much a retired colonel makes? Nikki, be reasonable. Be liberated. I'll liberate her. Oh, give me a break, guys. I haven't gotten a girl in over 25 years. Did I tell you I worked with Cary Grant once? Really? Yeah. Wearing a dress. Fascinating. He was a male war bride, and I was aboard this ship, but... Nicky, I want to ask you something. I read your book on marine biology. You like lobster? I know a nice little sushi bar. You might find we have a lot in common. Ooh, this feels like real leather. I feel young again. <laughs> Well, Sheriff, much as I hate to admit it, it's been nice working with you. Same here, G-Man. You know, we'll have to do it again sometime. You mean the next time there's a threat to civilization as we know it? Uh-huh. Well, unfortunately, I, I get the feeling this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Yeah, sort of a high point. Everything after this could be, well, an anticlimax. You know, when I started at OSI, everybody said, that guy's going places. He's going to be a top investigator. You know, it's funny. He used to say the same thing about me. He said, this guy's going to be terrific. He's a comer. He's going to be top of the heap. Watch Not this guy. Guys. Keep, Keep watching, watching this guy. Ah, a couple of young hot shots, huh? No, I think we could have done it by ourselves. Saved the world, I mean. Uh, well, you know, the sad part about it is I guess we'll just never know. I hope you liked our film. We didn't have a lot of money and it took us a long time. But we had the most wonderful cast anybody could ever ask for. Some of those actors aren't with us anymore. We dedicate this film to our cast, past and present. Our friends. Our heroes.
Count Dracula or the vampire's daughter or the mommy buried in the sand Godzilla or Rodan He turned my life into a monster movie I never dreamed that you could do it to me Like the Cyclops I was running blind Thought I was starring Or the giant behemoth, King Kong and the old wolf mate, the one devoured Cleveland. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Monster movie, monster, monster movie. movie. Her fingernails are growing, can't disguise it. Why?